Speaking of superheroes, a wise superhero once said, it's a leap of faith, that's all it is. Those words used by Spider-Man himself in the movie Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Or as you so endearingly call it, the Spideyverse. The spy I do say the Spideyverse. <laughs> <laughs> and boy, was he right. Our next guest, by the way, is living proof of just that. Macy Schmidt is a first-generation Egyptian-American who recently became the first woman of color orchestrator in Broadway mm -hmm. history. That's a big deal. She also mm -hmm. became Forbes 30 under 30 orchestrator, music director, and producer in 2022 for her work as the founder and CEO of the Broadway Sinfonietta. Okay, <laughs> my hair on my arm was standing straight up. Now Macy is bringing the all-women musical group to a new set of stage at NJ Pack. Look at that. Mm -hmm. The Broadway Sinfonietta is on tour, visiting more than 60 cities to perform for the Academy Award-winning film Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Good thing for us. The brains behind it all is here. Hello, She's Macy. Hi. Thank you so much for having me. This is fantastic. I'm in awe of this person right you, here. You were also, like, when we showed that clip, you were like, yes, queen. Yeah. <laughs> she sat here and she was like, yes. Well. well, that was Soleil Pfeiffer, who is one of my closest collaborators and we performed the first piece that the Symphony I'd ever did, and I, I, I could watch her all day long. So could we. <laughs> yes, another one who, when she was here, just was like, yeah, larger than life. Yeah. Where does this talent and love for music begin? Oh, wow. You know, I didn't really start pursuing music as a craft or learning it professionally until a little bit later into my teens, but I think that the love for music began at like a childhood level. I have memories of being in Disney World, the Disney parks. I know so many musicians can trace back oh God. To, to Disney. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Disney was such an influence. And yeah. I remember just being like surrounded by symphonic music, you know, mm. like the firework shows, hearing the songs that you knew, the songs that you know all the words to, um, presented in a little bit of a different way, a different arrangement. And I think that I wouldn't have necessarily recognized it at the time, but I think that being around music in that way, like it, it, it planted the seed that I figured out the rest later. Wow. And here you are with the Broadway Sinfonietta. So talk to us about that and why, uh, we, we know why it's magical and so special, <laughs> but why it sets it apart from anything else. Well, the most obvious thing that sets it apart from anything else is that the Broadway Sinfonietta is an all-women and almost entirely women of color orchestra. Uh, I founded the Sinfonietta during the pandemic uh, as a way to create paying jobs for women and especially women of color musicians in a time when artists were out of work. Sure. And um, it's just, it's really grown since then. I, I wanted to do things differently. I wanted to create jobs where there weren't jobs before. I wanted to bring large orchestra ensembles and merge them with commercial music, with mm -hmm. pop music, with Love film this. music, and um, which is partially why I'm really excited about Spider-Verse. But, um, you know, I think that the Sinfonietta, it was an opportunity to do things differently in terms of how marginalized musicians, women and especially women of color, are treated with dignity in the industry, mm -hmm. what their working terms are, what their pay and treatment is like, and the kind of work that they get to do in the way that they're respected and highlighted and featured in that work. And uh, I feel very proud of that. You should. Yeah. No kidding. No. Now, do you play instruments? I, I do. You? I'm a pianist and okay. conductor. But um, with with the Sinfonietta, I kind of um, I'm mainly an orchestrator. Okay. Uh -huh. I, I, no, that's, yeah. that was my question. What yeah. exactly is an orchestrator? That's a good question. So no, th this that's what's a conductor. conductor. That's conductor. That's, yes. yes. Orchestrator would be so. I'll take a Broadway show, for example. Um, a composer might write something just on piano, Here. and an orchestrator will take that piano part and say, okay, I have 25 instruments that are gonna be playing. What, do, expand it this way, what should every single one of those instruments play for it to be like surround sound? Oh my God. Thank you, I can go to sleep that's now. Like, that oh my left, gosh, that's great. Left left brain. Brain. <laughs> the right brain. That's all the brains, that's the great matter. It, is. So it really brain. is very mathy yes. and very creative, and that's something yes. that I really love about it. Holy moly. All right. She didn't get started until her late teens. She was, well, Which yeah, was like first yesterday. she went to Disney, she did this teacups, <laughs> and she was like, what's happening It was the teacups. It was the, it was the teacups. I can confirm. I mean, those teacups. You're part of this, mm. this, this national tour. Yes. As I like to say, the Spideyverse. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and you know why I say that? Because when my youngest son, when we watched it, he said, let's see the Spideyverse, mommy. Yes. So I still call it the Spideyverse. Mm -hmm. I love this. It's a wonderful score. The girls know I love it. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about this all, how this all came together. Yes. And what folks can expect. Yes, well, 
this came together. There's a really wonderful company called Senbla that's based in the UK that's really been a pioneer of like the film concert experience. Oh. And uh, the leader of Senbla, Ali, invited the Sinfonietta to do the premiere of the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse live concert in Brooklyn earlier this year in March. And that went really well. It was a beautiful success. It was a sold out, beautiful success. And they decided to take it on the road to do a national tour and show audiences around the country. And um, as far as what people can expect, um, you're, you're literally watching the film. You're hearing all of the, the dialogue and the characters and the sound effects. And the, the score of the music is played live, live by the orchestra. Oh, that is like the only way that I want to see a show. I know, from, I can't go back from, to it. From, from now on, I think. That is brilliant. Yeah. I feel like I would just be crying I would just be in pure bliss well, th that, and that's the thing it's like all of the emotions because you really do immerse yourself Truly. into the world into the narrative of the yeah. film but also what a wonderful way to get people young people people of all ages and iterations to see it and say you know what I can do that there's something so, for look everybody. at Macy <laughs> she looks like me I can do this now yes yeah exactly and you're gonna, you guys are gonna bring the tour Right here. We are. To the Big Apple. Very exciting. Yes. How do we get tickets? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the brass Good text. question. Um, Spiderverseinconcert.com. We also have linked ways to find tickets on our Instagram at the Broadway Sinfonietta. Uh, we'll be at the New Jersey Pack on Friday night mm -hmm. and uh, hope to see you there. Oh my gosh. Oh my. She, but she's not done. There's other stuff. No. <laughs> Ready? Please. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Co producer. For the Broadway show Parade, yes. we hear as well. Yes. I mean, there's no end to this. No. I mean, a, a great show, one I love. Yeah. What but probably that? different than Into the Spider Verse. Very different. Very, very different type of work. You know, I started my career on Broadway as an orchestrator, as a music director, kind of on the music side, and Parade was the first time uh, that I did the Broadway show as a co-producer, and it was, it was, you know, the, the Sinfonietta running the orchestra has been. I got into it as a musician, and it turned into really like a business. Like I had to uh -huh. learn how to run a business, and learning kind of the finances of how like commercial entertainment and live entertainment and the arts and all of that works. I it was an, an amazing experience to get to be part of a Broadway show in the way of figuring out how it's financed and how it's put together, and be part of the producing mm -hmm. side. And I've kind of now like my love is now split in half in the industry. I really I really fall in love with the business side of it and with the music and creative side of it, and with the Sinfonietta, I get to do both. And with all of that knowledge, no one can mess with you, because now you know it. Well, <laughs> let's hope. <laughs> if they try to, we'll. We're gonna well, she looks small, but she's tough. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so before we go, we have to ask you, uh, what Broadway show was your favorite, if you have one? My favorite. Hmm. As far as favorite Broadway show overall. Like as you go as yeah. just a regular mortal, not as an orchestrator okay. in all this business. You know, I think that I would be here for another hour if I went to my favorite <laughs> Broadway shows to attend, but I have a favorite Broadway show that I worked on, oh. um, which is right before the pandemic, the last, Broadway, the last Broadway show that I did before the pandemic was Tina the Tina Turner Musical. Oh my God. Which um, starred Adrian Warren, who uh -huh. was absolutely incredible. And I've been thinking a lot about that show and how much I, I really adored it because Tina was a powerful woman of color who was just constantly facing an unfair fight. Mm. And she just picked herself up and picked herself up and triumphed, and the fight never really got more fair for her. Mm -hmm. And I think that that story was told really beautifully on Broadway. And, and as far as shows that um, I've worked on on Broadway, that one really sticks out. And um, that's the she's, one. She's an inspiration to me at the moment. Of all the of all and the people to work on a show. To for. Us. Yes, right. really, seriously. Thank you thank so you, so thank much, you for having Macy. Me. I really appreciate mm -hmm. it. And don't forget, get your tickets to Spider Man Into the Spider Verse live in concert on Ticketmaster or NJPack.org. Go to their Instagram. Love the Broadway Sinfonietta. Mm -hmm. Check them out as well. Sure. Because why not? Why not? Love it.